part of seeing accidents and waiting in backups at certain areas throughout Myrtle Beach, you are certainly not alone. That's why the city's hoping to get some new technology to show the changes that could help alleviate the issues. Our Gabrielle Coriati joins us live. Gabrielle, so can you kind of explain how all of this would work? The term LIDAR or light detection and ranging isn't new. Right now it's used all across the country to help with police speed detection. But if the city gets a national grant, they'll be use it to see the they'll be able to use it to see the pros and cons of making all sorts of traffic related adjustments. It's very dangerous, um, especially tourists. Um, they don't know it and accidents happen all the time. More than 300 of them in the last five years at four problem intersections. One is Pine Island Road and Highway 17 bypass. It's a spot where resident Aaron Dupree says needs some help. It's kind of sticky, you know, a lot of traffic, but I think they need to improve very much so. So city leaders are applying for a national transportation grant. Increasing the safety of our roadways, it's a really big area that needs improvement and thus far we haven't found that improvement. If the city gets the money, almost $800,000, they could install LIDAR technology at four intersections. Pine Island Road and Highway 17 Bypass, Oak Forest Lane and Pine Island Road, Highway 501 and Seaboard Street, and Seaboard Street and Oak Forest Lane. The technology would create a 3D replica of the area where city leaders can run simulations. They can then test what happens if they change the length of a traffic light or a bus stop location. It would track the number of vehicles at different times of days or the pedestrians that are walking across the street um, or at the bus stops and things like that and try to give us a better uh, alternative to what we may have there. While it's a new path for the city, Chief Innovation Officer Howard Waldy says digitally testing changes before making them provides the best outcome. If, if, if the grant is even something that we're able to get right, um, this is a great opportunity for us to test new technology, specifically with traffic, and see could we offer an improvement for our residents and our visitors. And those who have lived in Myrtle Beach for a few years, like Dupree, are ready to see some new options. We we need technology, we need change, we need everything that Murder Beach has to offer. I'm told the city will know by early in the new year at the latest if they'll receive the grant. Live in Myrtle Beach, Gabrielle Coriati, WMBF News.